Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today, me and Sam are in Brighton. I'll introduce you to him, he's literally just getting his shoes Howdy. on. Um, I'll also link his amazing music Instagram down below and also on the screen so you guys can check him out. Um, we're basically heading to Zara today only to take back some returns. Um, I did kind of overspend and oversplurge and there were a few things that didn't fit me so I'm returning those and then we're going to go and shoot around Brighton I'm also going to be shooting photos for Sam, getting some content for him. So that's going to be really exciting. Maybe grab a bite to eat and just kind of have a roam around. I feel like I haven't been to the lanes in so long, so I might check that out as well. It's been ages since I last came to Brighton, so it's definitely needed. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Don't know what's going to happen or where we're going to go, but yeah, stick around and keep watching. So that was super easy to return. There was actually minimal clues in Zara, even though it was quite busy. So really, really happy that... <laughs> Are you gonna probably introduce yourself then? Hello. Don't be scary. Scary? You were, you were doing the... No, I'm doing the Tom Hardy. The, to the Tom Hardy. I'm talking with my eyes. <laughs> okay, so. It was actually really easy to return um, that Zara stuff, so I'm really happy that's done. Now we can get on with shooting stuff. I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying, but we're heading back into the shopping centre. Insert subtitles here. <laughs> Insert subtitles. Um, but we're heading back into the shopping centre, and then we're going to go out and get some content, aren't we, Sammy? Yeah. On a mission. Yeah. Chips me. Taking a little pit stop here. Um, and I didn't actually know that the British Airways i360 was um, working, but it is. So if anyone is wondering what this thing does, or they've never come to Brighton, then that is what happens to the i360. It's basically a slightly more boring um, London eye. What do you think, Sam? It's alright. Would you go on it? <laughs> Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what you can see. Yeah, I'd probably quite like to see the view, but I think I prefer the London night personally. But yeah. So we're going to try and get some shots here. We've just shot some really good pictures, actually. I'm really impressed. Kind of spur of the moment, there was some graffiti and also, what is it called, where those posters are like plastered onto wall. I really like it. So I've shot some content there, but I thought we'd go somewhere like this. Kind of similar vibe to the London vibe, um, the kind of like White Houses of London look, but these are all kind of cream coloured, so yeah, something like that would be quite cute, but just to kind of show you what the i360 looks like. Hey guys, so we are now in six in Brighton, if you haven't been to six yet, get yourself here, they do the best breakfasts, um, and they do lots of vegan and vegetarian things, so that's why I've decided to come here, because I'm dying to have their veggie breakfast. Sam has gone for the burger, love a burger. Um, I'm always tempted with a burger actually, when I am eating meat, I do really enjoy just an easy burger or like fish and chips, I always go for like the basic options, um, but yeah, really really nice to be like sold in the warm. I've also changed outfits, so I'm wearing a quiz hat, which I should probably take off because it's a little bit rude to have on in a restaurant, um, and then this jumper from Topshop, and then my blazer, which I featured in my um, Primark haul a little while ago, it is my favourite blazer of all time. It's like so perfect, it goes with everything. And then I'm wearing Chris boots, which I'll show you guys later. But um, I thought I'd just say hi, say where we are, and you guys are going to see how epic lunch is here, so stay tuned. We've got ourselves our food. Sam is happy with his burger and his skinny fries. With seeds, that's like really, really bougie. Are you ready to dig in? <laughs> okay, so I've gone for the vegetarian option, which guys looks so lovely. Look how nicely this has been presented. Um, I can see potatoes, all sorts of like smashed avocado. I am ready to get stuck in. <laughs> Are we filming section? Okay. <laughs> hang on. Oh my, oh my god, I actually did it way too tight. It's because, hang on, hang on. You just do that. Yeah. Do that one as well. Oh my god, that's all the way down. Okay. okay. All the way down now. Oh, right, I love that over. <laughs> no, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Right. 
So I shot some pictures in this outfit. I love it, by the way. But look what happened. Where is my stain? I um, accidentally got baked beans all down me. <laughs> so I'm laughing. It sounds like ha ha ha. They, they were really good baked beans though. But we are now walking down the lanes because I want to head to this crystal shop and pick out some crystals. I feel like I need some citrine in my life because, you know, this girl needs some abundance. Mm -hmm. What do you need, Sam? I'm in bed. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take you in. Hopefully I can vlog it and I'll let you know. Ooh, the lane's very quiet. <laughs> okay, so this is the crystal shop that I'm here to go to. My mum has actually bought loads of crystals here before. Oh, look at it. How unreal is that clear course? can definitely expect certain content in these videos and it shows i am back in my room i am in a cozy jumper oh i am so predictable um but yeah i've got myself a hot coffee this is what i mean like talk about fully predictable i'm home now i'm warm thank god it is so freezing cold we ended up heading to the crystal shop i chose the most amazing crystals just stuff that i really needed right now i feel like tonight i just need to take my makeup off get my makeup off i've got myself a face mask guys i've got a garnier one i've had this one for a while i've never actually tried the lavender moisture bomb before it looks pretty good i always go for these garnier ones particularly when i fly although having said that i've not been flying anywhere but i'm gonna do that and give myself a real replenish on the skin it's just so needed it's crazy um i'm finding i break out a lot like really in this area i think it might be hormonal but i'm not too sure um i think it also might be the masks because i'm finding i get them now right by my ear which is obviously where the mask kind of rubs and sits with the string so i feel like at the moment i'm getting a lot of breakouts there which is not fun but um i thought i would just let you know that i've decided to make this a weekend vlog which if you're already watching this you would have judged by the title you will know what this vlog is about um but i think i'm gonna vlog tomorrow i am expecting a delivery i'm not sure fingers crossed it was supposed to come today but it hasn't but i'm really excited to unbox it so i'm holding out for that i'm hoping that that will be in today's vlog but I thought I would vlog today, vlog tomorrow, and make it a nice little weekend vlog for you guys. So, just letting you know what the plans are. Expect content tomorrow. I haven't actually done one of these, like, two-day things. Um, I did do it, actually, with my Oxford vlog. What am I saying? I have done this before. I tell a lie. But aside from that, I am so super pooped. I definitely noticed that I get so much more tired at this time of year when it gets super dark um really early and then i wake up and it's like 5 6 a.m and it's still pitch black like i can't believe i used to run at that time in the mornings and now i just kind of peer out my window and go oh my gosh never ever and then like sink back into my bed sheets um so i really am feeling this winter vibe already i feel like hibernating it's oh I'm not sure if I'm ready. Like, even though I love this season and it is the best time of year, I'm going to, like, sing all its praises. Um, the fact that you lose the light um, really does affect the way that I work and the way that I shoot and kind of go about my day. I feel like I constantly want to hibernate and days like today where I could just get out, get a bit of content was, like, really, really epic. But, um also as well it gets dark so quick so it's not really the same as as the norm as the usual um work day so i did less outfits but i'm still feeling productive and i'm glad that i've got that done but i'm just sorry i'm eyeing up my coffee i need a sip 
guys i actually have a coffee addiction I really do. It's a bit of an issue. That and my new lemon and ginger tonic, which I featured in my last vlog. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. Lydia Millen has just changed my life with that. I've, I've probably used it for about a year now, um, on and off. And I kind of forgot about it. And then I found the recipe again. And I was like, mm, do you know what? I'm actually going to do that again. Because I was really, really getting too reliant on coffee. And like having, this is really bad to admit, like five or six cups a day. Which... No wonder I was so scatterbrained because you kind of get to the point where it gives you so much energy and so much caffeine that you actually like completely lose the plot. And I was like losing my marbles entirely on coffee. So I, <laughs> I needed to take a break from it, but I probably sound really crazed right now, but I think I'm just quite excited to pick up the vlog camera again and, and chat to you guys. But I will leave it here. I won't vlog anymore probably of this evening. You may see my face covered in a face mask but i doubt i really want to scare you guys you know what's coming i'm gonna stick up my face and then i'm going to probably call it a night but i am gonna finish watching emily in paris for the second time i can't quite get over it i just think it's so endearing and charming and it just takes me right back to being in paris and just living and breathing paris um if you guys don't actually know i am part parisian quarter parisian I have family over there so whenever I go there whenever I see it on TV anything like that it just brings me home it feels so homely to me so yeah that's that but I that's that but I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog so far again I'm keeping it super candid and super real and just kind of going with the flow I think it's a really nice opportunity just to I think it's a really nice opportunity just to document these memories because even though not much is going on, like life is still happening and I know I'm going to forget these moments um, and forget the simple times when, you know, we didn't have things to have to go to and we didn't keep ourselves entertained with events and things like that when we had to kind of think outside the box and just do life in a different way. So I really hope these vlogs kind of show you that you don't need to have lots going on in your life to be really happy you also don't need to be doing like crazy crazy things um just really treasure the people that you love the most and yeah i hope that kind of resonates the most with you within this vlog and you know all my content at the moment is such an odd time and i don't really know when it's going to get back to normal I didn't think that we would be nearing the end of 2020 and have London in lockdown and you know all these tiers, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, like it kind of freaks me out a little bit and it, this uncertainty is not fun at the moment so I'm just kind of scripting for clarity. I did pick up a crystal that I wanted to get which kind of um, focuses on clarity so if you guys do want that direction head into a crystal shop like go in and feel for yourself i really recommend that you go with your instinct um it is nice you know when people buy crystals for you and you know they or and you know they tend to have intention when they're looking for something specific for you but there's something about going in and just feeling like the energy because you know what you need and i did that and i picked up three crystals today which were just spot on and one of them was around clarity and just understanding how to see things from a clearer perspective so i really advise that for those of you who are new to crystals or even if you guys are new to my channel and you're just kind of sitting here watching my vlog and thinking oh wow i didn't think alice was that woo woo but she is um hi guys i am i am a very woo woo person i feel like i've embraced it i feel like that's what this channel has kind of become and my main channel has as well you know it's all about being true to yourself and that's what that clarity crystal was all about i think for me anyway just always being true to myself um and i've done a lot of that kind of soul searching this year and yeah just kind of sticking to my guns and knowing when something is not right for me and walking away from things um and also just finding my voice so that's what this channel has been about 
I didn't think I would be rambling for this long um, and talking so deep to you on a Friday evening. Well, by the time this video goes up, it will be a Monday evening, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I really recommend, if you guys haven't seen my latest vlog, my Manifest With Me vlog, I really recommend that you do because it kind of just gives you a little bit of an understanding as to the little things that you can do within your day. You don't have to do all of them. You don't have to stick to all of them. You know, you can just kind of give them a try. Um, and if they resonate with you, then go for it. Give it a go. And that video I will link below in the description so you can check it out. It's my Manifest With Me vlog. Um, and it kind of just says a little bit about me in terms of um, manifestation. So if you're new to that, then I really recommend that you check it out. But yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee and stay cosy, take my makeup off, guys. I'm so happy. Um, get super cosy. That is like when the real Alice comes out. Um, I am a Cancer Sun, so you know this is my crab-like shell nesting inward and like staying indoors. That's what I'm clearly all about. But um, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here I will see you guys in the morning or in the day whenever I go to pick up this vlog camera again um, but I hope you're all enjoying it and I will see you very very soon good morning guys so I'm just about to head off to Guildford I've got myself up and dressed I actually had quite a bit of a lay-in today which was really really nice um, but I tend to find it really throws me off for the rest of the day so I've had my lemon and ginger tonic it's like a morning ritual at the moment had that and I'm ready to go so I thought I'd take you along with me um, and we'll see what the day brings. Hopefully I can get myself something festive, like a pumpkin spice latte. I know I'm literally rinsing it to death at this point, but it only lasts so many weeks. So I want to make sure I fully take advantage of the pumpkin spice latte season, guys. I know, it's so predictable, but yeah. Follow me along and let's see what we get up to. Guys, firstly, I don't like to bring negativity to this vlog, but I just have to let you guys know. Karen's in Guildford. <laughs> yes, mum. There are so many Karens in Guildford today. Um, and just everyone honking their horn and bibbing and just like negative vibes. I can't handle it. This Mercury retrograde is too intense. Put the camera down. Um, <laughs> Luke's, even Luke's st stressed out. Oh, but there's lots of cute kids with crowns on. Yeah, we're near a Burger King. <laughs> um, but yeah, so many Karens. I just, I can't. Hopefully we'll just emit some positive vibes. Is Luke, positivity? Yeah, Luke, nice Luke just let someone, someone walk across the road and he smiled with such joy. Like, oh my God, this is the first nice thing that's happened to me like all day. Oh. Also, I'm wearing my obsidian bracelet because I do not need to be affected by any negative vibes. Um, but... We're about to head in to a certain shop, which I can't name um, due to certain reasons. I can't really say, can I, Mum? Nope. No, can't say. Shopping uh, requirements. Shopping requirements. Um, but yeah, about to head in there now. It's a little bit like boring, I think, for me personally. So I won't vlog it, but I'll vlog when we actually get into like the main bit of Guildford. Okay, so we have now resumed our normal position again. I have myself a pumpkin spice latte, I told you I would. Um, but we basically went into Zara and I filmed some stuff for a reel, which you guys hopefully should already see over my Instagram if you aren't following. Go check it out. Um, I was doing a reel for like new in Zara pieces and I actually have my mum and Luke assist me. Mum was VMing. You were VMing. It needed doing. Oh my god, it was such a mess like awful Zara um, but mum me and mum both used to work for Arcadia so we used to do like top shop mum used to do all the jewelry for like all the concessions inside like top shop Dorothy Perkins BH, BHS like everywhere so she was like whizzing around with her hands and she looked like she was meant to be there and then Luke was kind of in the corner like oh for god's sake when can I have my phone back because I did it on his phone um, and then I was just like sneaking around trying to get um, video clips because Zara are a bit hit and miss. Sometimes they don't care about you taking pictures and filming. Other times they're like, what the hell are you doing? Get out of my store. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna get today, but um, I'm so exhausted after spending the last like two hours with my mask on. I find I get really headachey after a while. So 
gonna have this coffee, make myself feel a little bit better, and I will hopefully see you guys later. I'm not really sure what else we're gonna get up to, but um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know. I have made it home in one piece, guys. I have the story of all stories to tell you. Um, we were driving back from Guildford, and we saw this like little figure like running around near the curb and turns out it was this tiny little puppy like about this big with a piece of bark or something or like a piece of wood um in his mouth and he was like scurrying across the road and it was right by a national speed limit road so, and we were like freaking out because it was this cute tiny tiny puppy and anyone driving fast enough would just hit the poor thing so we kind of like scurried um to kind of shoo him in back to his house and um my mum actually knocked on the owner's door and then um yeah she came out and honest to god it was such a funny story because she didn't know he'd like run out um, and he's only six months old. He was so, so diddy and cute, but she was proper telling him off. It was really funny. It was like telling off a child. But um, yeah, so thankful that we like technically saved this dog's life because he was like running across the road. Um, and uh, yeah, he was so cheeky, like this big, like so, so tiny. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a good deed done today, um, despite all the other bits going on. But I just thought I would come on again and film a little clip because I've had some deliveries and I mentioned yesterday that I was waiting on a delivery to come and it ended up coming today instead. So I'm going to unbox that now for you. Also, before I unbox that thing. So they actually kindly gifted me some of their new stuff in terms of drinks. So I know they do like CBD oil products. Um, however, I'm not interested in those. But I am interested in the other stuff that they do. So I saw this on um, their Instagram and thought this would be a really good one to give a go. But it's ginger, turmeric and collagen. I love these types of shots. I really, really enjoy this kind of taste. I love anything sharp and citrusy, if you guys know from all my vlogs featuring um, that Lydia Millen recipe. But also as well, their sparkling waters. These look really great as well. I would either use these as like mixers. Obviously, I'm not drinking at the moment, so... Um, I wouldn't be mixing them with anything, but I thought they would be really nice just to try. Um, so I feel like I'm going to enjoy maybe one of these tomorrow or in the week as like a pick-me-up, something that's a bit different from, you know, the normal thing that we go and pick up, which for me is a Diet Coke if I'm really craving something like fizzy. Um, I don't tend to drink much kind of fizzy stuff anymore, but... Um, I did want to give this a go because I love rosemary, I love the way that it smells and I know it will be really nice paired with the lavender as well. So that's a really nice one. Ooh, it's got lemon and cinnamon. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Really, really, really faintly. It says uh, lemon and cinnamon um, and a drop of maple. I feel like this has got a bit of everything going on, but I'm always down to try new things. I'm super adventurous when it comes to food and drinks, so it's nice to give new things a go. This one as well says Rosemary Thyme Dragon. But it says it's got half a lemon, Himalayan salt, um, mint, aronia, cinnamon, and a drop of maple. So I have no idea how this is going to fare in terms of flavour. But I feel like I'm going to give you guys an update over on my stories because that's probably going to be the best place to check that out. But if you are new, I will link their Instagram here so you guys can check them out, see what flavours they've got going on, and... Um, the other products that they do do because i know they do like cbd um products as well so now moving on to the box that i've been dying to show you i have no idea what's inside the box but it is a delivery from the calgary estate as a thank you for my previous vlog so i just wanted to show you everything that's inside i've actually been leaning you guys on the box hopefully i did not just flash my delivery address but um let's have a little peek and see what's inside i'm just going to open this one-handed this is going to be a skill and a half if i can do this I also know that my, my mum is itching to know what's inside. Oh my goodness. Right, let's have a little look. Ooh, okay, so we've got some bubble wrap going on here. I just peeked something. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Oh, do you know what? I was low-key hoping it was gonna be this, so I'm really excited. Okay, guys. So. If you saw my vlog, if you saw my Calgary vlog, then you'll know what is underneath this. If you don't, then please head over there because it's all gonna make sense when you take a look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, now I've gotta figure out how to get this out. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this out. 
It's really tightly packed in. Guys, I can't deal. I've got myself my very first Cowdery Estate hamper. Um, this is really cute. I'm all for wicker boxes. I'm all for anything like mildly picnicky in terms of appearance. I feel like maybe I should hold the vlog camera um, just to show you like everything, but I've already started kind of unraveling these little leather bound bits here. How cute is this? Now this is gonna be such a good gift idea for anybody you know. If you're West Sussex based, hopefully I can open this. <gasps> Oh my gosh. How oh, cute. Oh my god, it's so lovely. Oh. <laughs> Guys, why are hampers so exciting? I think it's all like the little tissue and you're like digging for all the things. Um, I'm just gonna open this card now, so I'm gonna pop you back up. So I thought I would open the little card first because that is such a cute little gesture. I think cards are so lovely. Oh, that's so cute. It says, Dear Alice, enjoy. Best wishes the team at Calgary. So thank you so much for that. So the first thing I can immediately see, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. So that is going to be eaten straight away. We love granola in this household. So I feel like that's going to go straight on my yogurt tomorrow. How cute does that look? Um, love that. Really love the fact that it's all like packaged in this lovely like brown paper bag style um, packaging. It's just really simple and just lovely. Um, and that's what I was really drawn to when I was in there. Ooh, guys, <laughs> we know we, <laughs> we know I love my coffee. I've got some Sussex Barn Espresso. This looks so, so great. Oh, wow. So it says in the cup, you've got berries, marzipan, chocolate, the region, it says Central and South America and Africa. How cool is that? There's something about all this packaging that I just love. Oh my goodness. We've got some more treats in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, firstly, I was eyeing these up when I went into the shop. Guys, I've got my very own Calgary honey and raspberry jam as well. I'm such a condiment person, so these will be amazing. I feel like I want to put the granola and the honey together. That would be a really nice mix and maybe even have like a slice of toast and some jam. That is a really, really lovely little jar. So you've got all the Calgary yellow flowing through the products as well, which I really like. The branding is spot on. Um, what else have we got here? Ooh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this when I was in the store. It's a milk chocolate bar with their own branding on. How beautiful is that, guys? Oh my gosh, that is not going to last long this evening. I feel like I might have to have some of that with a hot chocolate. And then, they definitely know what I'm into here from the way that this has been packaged and the stuff that's included. I've got some Calgary chocolate cookies. Oh my gosh. So again, I could dunk that in my hot chocolate. I could dunk it in my coffee. I might try and like spread out these products so I don't eat them all in one go. But how lovely is that? I really like those. They look really delicious as well. There's something about a traditional cookie. That is good. But I feel like guys, the piece de resistance in this whole box Oh my goodness me. Can I get it out carefully? Whoop. I don't know if I can show you guys without, hopefully it doesn't oh, slide everywhere. How amazing. They are the Cowdery mince pies. So I cannot wait to eat mince pies. I've had so many already, but there's something about eating them in the build up to Christmas. It's a really festive treat to have. Um, and I used to be a little bit crazy when I was younger. I used to have like mince pie competitions. I'd see how many I could eat in the build up to Christmas. So maybe I need to start now and do that. But I'm really looking forward to trying um, their mince pies. And maybe you should keep an eye out for something mince pie related very soon. I'm just going to leave that there. But I'm very interested to see how their mince pies fare in comparison to some other mince pies. So what a lovely treat from Calgary. I really appreciate it so much. If you guys haven't seen what Calgary Estate looks like, then I will link 
the previous vlog below because it just kind of gives you a tour and shows you around. It's a really lovely farm shop to go to if you're based around sort of West Sussex way or you're coming and visiting West Sussex. You may even be having a staycation here. So I highly recommend you check it out. I will make sure to leave all the details below. So if there's anything specifically here that you'd like the look of or you're interested in getting your hands on your own little wicker basket, your own little hamper of goodies, then um, I will also link that below. But this is like the ideal Christmas treat this year. I know hampers are very popular um, and other brands do them and they do them really well. But I think there's something quite nice about supporting local and um, just having like local produce delivered to your door um, or to somebody else's door who may be in need this Christmas or just need a little uplift. So if you have any people in mind for that, then definitely consider this because I feel like foodie treats are great. You know, everybody needs food and sometimes it's nice just to have something a little bit more indulgent. So I thought I'd just show you that, leave that here. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you are the same with hampers. Are they like your low key favorite Christmas present? Because I think they're mine. Um, so this was a real treat. Thank you so much, Calgary Estate. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next clip. So if you're seeing this clip, then I totally forgot to end yesterday's vlog. I'm about to start a new vlog. Everything in the next few clips will be going up in Thursday's video, so make sure you guys check it out. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Stay sweet.